Hey there folks, you liked that last little Lightroom short tutorial so much, I thought I would do an even quicker one today. It's not so much showing you a shortcut, but it is showing you a free plugin that has been so useful to me that I want to share it. Now, I'm not affiliated with these people or anything, I'll tell you more about that in just a second. It's just something that I personally use as one of those damn dirty film shooters that really, really helps me out with keeping track of not only the camera and the lenses that I'm shooting my non-digital photography with, but also the films, the developer, anything that I don't want to make notes for, and virtually everything that Lightroom does not have a built-in XF section for. Let me show you what I mean. Now this is a digital photograph of Leia looking very majestic under a full moon. We're out here shooting with Winston. That's that big Corona pictorial view 8x10. Now if we, uh, this is the library module, by the way, here in Lightroom 11. Now if you look here, Lightroom gives you all these beautiful places to see your aperture, your focal length, the kind of lens you use, the camera you use, literally anything you want to know in terms of metadata information. Now, if we go to our image that we were actually making that night, well, one of them anyway, you notice you don't have anything uh, because there is nothing communicating with Lightroom to let them know the specifics of what it is. Now, except for me, because I'm extremely anal retentive like this, I name my file names with the camera and that kind of thing. But here's an easier way to do it, and it's going to be done using a little plugin called Lens Tagger. Go to lenstagger.com to download this. Again, it is absolutely free. I believe a gentleman named Dan Eisel holds the copyright to this. So all you would do, go to Downloads, choose which of your downloads you want, uh, Lightroom 3 or higher, then you go back into Lightroom. If you don't know how to download a plugin, uh, go to File, you're going to go to your Plugin Manager, go to Add, and then you would find that on the computer wherever you had it downloaded, and then add this to your Lightroom list, and it'll pop up in Lightroom Classic. Oh yeah, that's uh, Dirk Eisel, sorry, not Dan, he's the one who um, has lens tagger here. So let's say you've got the lens tagger plugin installed like I do. Open your image in the library module. You can't do this in any other module, not the develop module, anything like that. Make sure you're in the library module. And this is an 8 by 10 sheet long uh, exposure shot on Winston of a fire. You can get to the plugin a couple of ways. I'll show you the way I do it. Go to library, go to plugin extras, and this is where your plugins would be for the library module. Click lens tagger. It's going to ask you to save the metadata. Just You can if you want to. You don't necessarily have to for this to work, but I do recommend it. Now it's going to open up this little dialog box here. I'm going to show you the first part of two. These are your lens options. Literally plug and play. It's going to ask you the lens name, the focal length, max aperture, etc. We're just going to type in that beautiful CP GERS. Focal length is 19 inches, uh, 19 and a half inches actually. Max aperture is f11. And this is where it really gets cool. You don't have to remember the equivalence of your focal length anymore. I know that happens to be about 483 millimeters. You can even enter the lens serial number if you want to. Very good for record keeping. I, of course, don't have mine memorized. Now we shot this at that honking f90. And the exposure time was roughly 6.5 minutes. Don't worry about this here. You don't have to worry about that. You can actually save this as a preset for the future and I'm going to do that. So we're just going to go to save preset. Well, I've already done it. So anyway, you can save those and then a little drop down here. You can click that. You don't have to type this stuff in each and every time. Don't worry about this. This is your actual command. After you get everything plugged in, you want to hit update command. It's going to change this little guy here. Now, pay attention to this section right here in Lightroom Classic before I click on Run Command. There's really nothing over here. I click Run Command. Usually this doesn't take more than five or six seconds. And like I said, keep an eye right over here. And now we have our new exit data for our 8x10 photo we made with the CP Gers and Winston right here just like it was a digital photo. Now let me show you the second portion of lens tagger that I get a lot of use out of. This is going to let you add in even more specific information for your developments and even your printing. You can, of course, same kind of thing here. We're going to go with Winston because I know what I know what that is. The model will go Corona Pictorial View 8 by 10. He can view the scanner. 
This is Veronica V700. Yeah, let's be really specific. Epson V700. There we go. Go with the film. This is Agfa GS Radiographic. This is an X ray film. kind of like when you write your full name in the first name box. You know, we won't, we won't worry about it. Uh, ISO, I rated this at 100. Uh, the developer, Caffinol. It's the only developer I can really find that um, can reproducibly give me really good results with this film. Anyway, uh, development time was about six and a half minutes as well, close to the exposure. Haven't printed this yet, haven't done anything. We can add that in later. We can actually tag it with keywords. Just as with the lens and cameras section, we can make a preset, save it, so we don't have to type this in every time. So after each thing you change, always remember, hit update command, and then run command. And that is going to add that EXIF data to your metadata, and that's going to be physically embedded in the file. You don't have to worry about that again. Now, personally, I might write this down somewhere else because if it's really important information, uh, you just never know what will happen with electronics, but all that's going to be added right into your file, and it lets you more or less have uh, digital XF data. See, we can add, that, add it in there. And this lets you have, essentially, digital XF data for your non-digital images. I hope you enjoyed this, folks. If you do get the Lens Tagger plug-in here, I would uh, urge you to head over to Lens Tagger site, give them a little donation throw a few bucks their way for all the hard work that they do on things like this and speaking of that folks if you got anything out of this feel free to use these super thanks little tip jar down there of course visit camera jockey clothiers buy any of my books my courses my prints believe me it helps me out a lot more than you know anyway folks thanks a lot for being here we'll see you next time